Hey, what's up? I'm Liz, the Split State DIY, and back in the summer, I talked about doing some maintenance on my PC, including uh, building a backup server with a Raspberry Pi. And now that it's winter, I should probably do that. There are endless options for setting up a file server. It's all about finding the balance between uh, what you need and what you can also handle. You have to take into consideration cost, uh, the hardware, the software, uh, maintenance once you get set up, the actual setup. The, well, I guess there's a lot that you have to consider. So looking at all the options out there, uh, I decided to go with Open Media Vault, or OMV. Uh, it's a fully open source piece of software. Uh, it has a fully uh, supported build for Raspberry Pi, which is the hardware that I wanted to use. And as you'll see in a bit, uh, the interface is really simple to use as well. And that's what I was kind of going for. I wanted something open source, easy to manage, and I wanted to use a Pi with it to kind of keep costs down and also keep it simple. So I'm not gonna go fully in depth on everything there is to know about Open Media Vault and Raspberry Pi because honestly, that would be way too long a video. And I've really only begun to scratch the surface on what OMV can do. So I'm just gonna kind of go over the setup and what I've done so far with it um, to create a backup server for my PC. So to get Open Media Vault set up, you of course first download the disk image. I'll leave that link down in the description. Uh, and then you image it onto an SD card Etcher has become my preferred uh, disk imaging software. Uh, it just, it works really well, it's really simple, and it's open source, so you can't go wrong. So one thing you should know is OMV is meant to be headless and accessed through either the web portal or through SSH, uh, but when you're first doing your first boot, uh, you're gonna wanna connect the HDMI cable because it will tell you the IP address which you'll need to be able to log into the web portal. You can also log in directly on the Pi with a keyboard attached as an admin as well, just to get some information, make sure that everything's looking okay after that first boot. Once you have your IP, you can log in via the browser portal uh, as an admin, and then you'll be able to see the full web interface for OMV and all the different options that are available as well. So now let's talk about setting up a network share with OMV. First, of course, you need to connect your hard drive uh, to the Pi. And then in OMV, uh, go to storage and disks, and you should see at least two uh, drives connected, your uh, SD card and the uh, USB drive that you just connected as well. Uh, and this is more just to make sure that the connection is there, uh, because uh, next we're going to mount the drive to OMV. And to mount it, you're gonna go to File Systems, click on that hard drive, and then click Mount up at the top of the screen, and this will begin the mounting process. Then you will say that you want to apply changes. Anytime that you do anything in OMV, uh, it will ask you to apply the changes. It kind of reminds me of like an IT workflow where you have to say, yes, I am, I am committing these changes to the server. This is the change window. Why am I talking about my job and my day off? So now that the drive is mounted, we're gonna create the actual network share. This is how your computer or anything on your network really is going to see uh, this um, folder um, from OMV on the network. So to do this, you're gonna go to access rights management and then shared folders. Then you're gonna click on add and then you can name the folder, select the drive that you want that folder to be on and of course uh, set permissions as well. And after you create this folder, you can select the service that you want it to be set up with, basically how it's gonna be shared out um, after it's been created. As you can see, there's a lot of different options. My goal was to create a backup location for my Windows PC. So as a result, I'm gonna use SMB since it's fairly painless to get working and maintain, um, but you might be working on Mac OS or a Linux machine or anything like that. Uh, so you, there might be a service there that works better for your needs. Or maybe you just hate SMB and you're just like, absolutely not. I want nothing to do with that ever. So for SMB and really all the services, you'll fir first need to enable it because not all of them are enabled by default. Uh, I basically kept the default settings as is. Uh, then you're going to add the folder as a share. Uh, and you'll go to the shares tab, click on add, fairly straightforward. Uh, you're gonna then select the folder that you just made under the network and shares option and make sure it's set to browsable. Otherwise your PC isn't gonna be able to see it as a network location and this will cause frustrations. Then of course you're gonna apply those changes and you have a new network storage location after all that. Now after that you just need to map it to your system as a network location, uh, fairly straightforward. Uh, and then after you map it, you should be able to connect. One thing you should note, uh, you can only get into that folder that you just created. You aren't accessing the entire drive, uh, which is uh, pretty cool, I, I think at least. 
Um, so you can then really keep things like locked down or as wide open as you want. Uh, you could technically make it so that you have access to the entire drive and you're kind of managing the folder hierarchy through your computer or however you're accessing the drive, or you can keep it so that you're managing all the folders through OMV and only certain users and certain devices have access to certain folders. Uh, pretty cool. Now, to set up uh, OMV as a backup location, it's pretty simple. Whatever service you're using, whether it's a built-in feature in Windows or maybe you're using um, an extra tool. Personally, I like to use Acronis. Um, you just set that network share folder as a backup location, just how you would set up like the USB drive that you have connector or whatever as a backup location. You don't have to do anything special. Uh, for the, the software, it's just seeing it as a location. It doesn't care that it's network attached. It doesn't care if it's physically connected. It's just the location. And as long as it's connected to the PC in some way, shape, or form, it will push the data there. And then one last thing we haven't talked about that you're going to want to do without question. I don't care if you're just setting up OMV and you're just letting it sit there and not actually do anything. You're going to want to reset those default passwords. And there's a few of them. There's the web login default password. There's the admin password. And there's the root password, which you'll use if you're logging in via SSH, which is basically how I've managed OMV after setting up that initial um, network drive through the browser. So you change your admin password after under the access rights management uh, location in the, in the uh, web portal. And the root password is prompted to be changed the first time you log in via SSH. And you know what? If there's one that you need to change, it's that one. And what's cool about being able to manage it through SSH, I think at least, is you can just push updates and things that way. Uh, you can just log in real quick to check the temperature, make sure everything's copacetic with your pie. Also, you feel really cool like logging into a terminal. Maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm the only one that feels really cool logging into a terminal. So for my purposes, after all the OMV set up, I moved on to kind of a phase two for this project, which was more hardware focused. And as a result, I feel like it should be a separate video. So I'm going to wrap this one up here. If you're curious about custom 3D printed enclosures for Raspberry Pi or power over Ethernet, make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss phase two of this project. But if you liked phase one, toss me a thumbs up, leave any questions or comments down below. I'll have the appropriate links down in the description in case you're curious about OMV and setting up your own Raspberry Pi uh, server in your home for backups or whatever you want, really. Um, thank you for watching. As I said, phase two will be next. Uh, and until next time, this has been Blitz City DIY.